out there, my God's people, may God bless you all. May God sustain every one of us. May the hand of God never depart from us. May we continue to work stronger for the Lord in the name of Jesus. You are welcome to another beautiful day. The 10th of November 2022. You are welcome, my brothers and sisters. You are welcome to Morning Devotion. My name is Pastor Egbe Florence Oduare of Mountain of Glory Church. I thank God for keeping every one of us alive. I thank God for the message we are going to listen to today. I thank God because God is still in the business of deliverance and protection. We are going to be praying more than as we have been praying because the Bible says pray without ceasing. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key to everything. We're going to be looking at it from different areas. We're going to be praying with Psalm 20 verse 1. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the Lord of Jacob defend you. So you're going to pray after me, brothers and sisters. Let us pray. May the Lord answer us in the day of trouble. In the name of Jesus, may the name of the Lord of Jacob defend us. In the name of Jesus, whatever trouble we are going through, may the Lord answer us. May the Lord answer you. May the Lord answer me. May the Lord answer everyone. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, answer us. Answer us, O Lord. Answer us, O Lord. Answer us, O Lord. Whatever we are going through, O Lord, Father, we bring it before you, Lord. Father, answer us, O Lord. We bring all predicament before you. We bring all storms in our lives before you. Father, take away storms from our life. Take care of us, O Lord. Answer us, O Lord. Answer us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord answer you. May the Lord answer me. May the Lord answer your family. May the Lord answer your household. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord answer my household. May the Lord answer my family. May, be, may the Lord answer everyone out there. In the name of Jesus, whatever you are going through, it's not bigger than God. May God answer you. May God answer you. May God give you power. May God help you out there. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. We're also going to pray with uh, Psalm 20 verse 2. It says, May he send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. That is a prayer point. Pray it after me, brothers and sisters out there. I don't care what you are going through. May God Almighty send you help from the sanctuary. In the name of Jesus, may God strengthen you out of Zion. In the name of Jesus, may God send us help from the sanctuary. May God strengthen every one of us. In the name of Jesus, everyone listening to, to the sound of my voice, may God help you. May God strengthen you out of Zion. May God send you help from the sanctuary. In the name of Jesus, when God send you help, that is when you will have victory. When God strengthen you out of Zion, that is when you will have strength to pray. May God send you help from the sanctuary. May God send me help. May God send everyone out the help from the sanctuary. May God strengthen every one of us out of Zion. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' holy name we pray. Brothers and sisters, we are also going to look at uh, Psalm 20 verse 4. It says, May he grant you according to your heart desire and fulfill all your purpose. In the name of Jesus. Let me explain this to you before we pray this prayer. I don't know what your heart desire is. As our faces are different, so our heart desires are. I don't know what your purpose is in life. God has different purposes for every one of us. So you're going to pray this day for God to grant you according to your heart desire. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my God, King of glory, grant everyone there uh, according to their heart desire. 
grant it unto them. Fulfill all their purposes, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Some people are, are, are supposed to be pastors. Some, some people are supposed to be engineers. Whatever purposes you created, every one of them. Father, fulfill it out there. In the name of Jesus. Fulfill it out there, O Lord. Fulfill it there. Fulfill it for your children. In the name of Jesus. Father, be with them. Father, protect your children. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Prayer is the key. Let's continue, brothers and sisters. We're going to look at them. Um, Psalm 31 verse 1 in New, New King James Version. In you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. My brothers and sisters, we, you put your trust in the Lord. God will never let you be ashamed. Take God, remind him that it's him alone you put your trust. He will never let you be ashamed. Take God to deliver you deliver you in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, in you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Take God to deliver you in your righteousness, in his righteousness. In the name of Jesus, take God that in him alone you put your trust. Take God to deliver you. Take God to deliver you. In the name of Jesus, O God, my Father, in you alone I put my trust. Deliver me, O Lord. Deliver your children out there. You alone, they put their trust. Those that trust you, O Lord, they will do exploit. Father, they put their trust in you, Lord. Father, deliver your children. Deliver them out there. I don't know whatever they are going through, you know it all. You are the only Lord that can deliver everyone. Father, deliver. Deliver us, O Lord. Deliver us, O Lord. Deliver the people out there. Deliver my viewers. All those who are listening to the sound of my voice. Let them be delivered, O Lord. Let them be delivered, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, God Almighty, deliver them, O Lord. In Jesus name they are all delivered. Amen. We are still praying brothers and sisters. We are going to pray from uh, Psalm 31 verse 2. He said, bow down your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be my rock of refuge. A fortress of defense to save me. Oh God, my Father, bow down your ear to your children. Deliver your children speedily. Be their rock of refuge. A fortress of defense to save them. In the name of Jesus, bow down your ear to us, O Lord. Deliver us, O Lord, speedily. Be a rock of a refuge to us. A fortress of defense to our to save us. In the name of Jesus, bow, bow, bow down your ear to us. Deliver us speedily. In the name of Jesus, bow down your ear to the wall. Deliver your wall. God speedily. Be a rock of refuge to them, a fortress of defense to save them. In the name of Jesus, Father, these are your children you created. Father, bow your ear to as many that are praying to you, as many that are expecting deliverances from you. Father, deliver them speedily. Be a rock of refuge to everyone out there, a fortress of defense to save them. In the name of Jesus, especially this time, O oh Lord, a lot of people are going through storm. A lot of people People are going through uh, predicament. Father, bow down your ear to them. Deliver your children speedily. Be a rock of refuge to them. A fortress of defense to save them. In the name of Jesus, oh God, deliver them. Oh God, deliver your people. Oh God, deliver them speedily. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The next prayer is going to be taken from the same Psalm 31. Verse 14. But as for me, I trust in you. Oh Lord, I say, you are my God. 15. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I commit the whole world to your hand. Father, but as for you, them, O oh Lord, they trust in you. O oh Lord, those that trust in you, O oh Lord, Father, deliver them. Father, they say you are their God, O oh Lord. 
their tents are in your hand. Deliver them from the hand of the enemies. In the name of Jesus, since you already know, Lord, that there are enemies out there, Father, deliver your people from the hands of their enemy, from those who persecute them. Deliver your people. Deliver us, O Lord. Our time are in your hands, O Lord. We trust in you, O Lord. You are our God. Father, deliver us. Deliver our children. Deliver our husband. Deliver our wives. Deliver our grandchildren. Deliver our family out there. In the name of Jesus, deliver everybody out there. They are my family. Father, deliver them. We all trust you, Lord. Father, oh, oh, deliver them from their enemy. Whoever enemy is pursuing, Father, you know it. We don't know. They may not even know. But, but deliver them from their enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, deliver them. Oh, Lord, deliver them. Oh, Lord, deliver your children. Deliver your people, oh, Lord. In the name of Jesus do not allow their enemy to overcome them. Do not allow their predicament to destroy them. Do not allow their storm to destroy them. In the name of Jesus, oh God, do not allow our storm to destroy us. Do not allow our predicament to destroy us. Do not allow our enemies to overcome us. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, by, by Jehovah, we trust in you. We say you are our God. You are the only one that can deliver us from the hands of the wicked one, from the hands hands of evildoer, from the hands of Satan, from the hands of enemies. Oh Lord, deliver us. Oh Lord, deliver us. In Jesus' holy name we are delivered. Amen. Our next prayer point will be taken from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 2. Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. Father Jehovah, we will not be able to do this without your deliverance. Father, it's an order. We should preach the word. We should be ready in season and out of season. We should be convinced by, by Jehovah, which will exalt you with all long suffering and teaching. My Father, my God, help us, O oh Lord. Father, deliver us to be able to preach the word. I, anyone that is held captive, because we all have a reason why God created us. Anyone that is held captive in the world, that is supposed to be preaching the word of God, Satan the devil is still holding unto such a one. Father, I pray for that person, O oh Lord, to be released in the name of Jesus and be ready to preach your word, to be ready, O oh Lord, in an hour of season, to be convinced that you are God Almighty, Father Jehovah, Father, to be able to exhort you with all long suffering and teaching. In the name of Jesus, Father, help everyone out there, including myself, help all our family, help all our brothers and sisters, all our friends, the whole world, they are my family, they are my friends, they are my brothers and sisters. Father, help everyone out there, O oh Lord. Father, deliver all of them, set them free, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, I decree and declare clear upon everyone out there. Those that are still suffering, those that are still going through one thing or the other, that is not of God. Father, be with them. Those that are sick in one area or the other, oh Lord, my Father, release your healing to the world. In the name of Jesus, Father, set the captives free, oh Lord. Help, help us, oh Lord. Because you, you said the, the miracle you did, you said your, your children, they will be able to do more than that. Father, help everyone out there, including I that is praying this prayer. Father, be with all. Set our children free. Set our husbands free. Set our wives free. Set our family free. Set the whole world free, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, that your word that he diseases, let it fall upon everyone out there. Those in the hospital, O Lord, Father, touch them. Father, release your healing upon them. Doctors that treat be with them. Those that are put into bed right now, let them deliver safely. In the name of Jesus, even those that are believing you for the fruit of the womb, Father, touch all wounds out there, O oh Lord. Every wound that Satan the devil has tied, I release you now by the power in the blood of Jesus. I inject the blood of Jesus into every wound that is not receptive. I command you to receive it now, receive your babies. In the name of Jesus, every marriage that is shaking, by the 
the power in the blood of Jesus. I release the blood into these marriages. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, King of Glory, all those that are believing you for a partner, King of Glory, Father, bless them with their husband, bless them with their wives. In the name of Jesus, all those that Satan, the devil has tied down, Father, I release, release to them. Father, set them free. Father, losing them, let them go. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, King of Glory, all those that cannot pray for themselves, Father, pray for them, especially little children that cannot pray for themselves. Father, pray for them. Father, touch them. Father, let your anointing flow in the world. Father, change the world for you, O Lord. Give a pure heart to everybody out there. Father, let them believe you. Let them trust you. Father, cast away doubt from the world. Father, all those that are still doing evil to people, Father, let them have a change of heart, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, visit them, O Lord. Let them know that they are persecuting you because uh, 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 Paul, so Ulela became apostle. Paul did not know that he was persecuting you when he was persecuting Christians. Let the world know that those that are still doing evil out there, let them know they are persecuting you. Let them know, oh Lord, Father, let them have a change of heart. Father, deliver your, the world. The world is for Jesus and Jesus alone. Holy Spirit God Almighty, I am that I am. This is a day that you have made. There are people in the hospital now. There are some that are waiting to die. Father, touch such a one, O Lord. Father, inject your precious blood into them. Set them free. Deliver them from sicknesses. Sickness does not reign in your kingdom, O Lord. Anyone that is sick out there, as you hear the sound of my voice, the God of heaven and earth will release healing into you. The God of heaven and earth will release the blood of Jesus into you. The God of heaven and earth will change your situation. A God of sudden change. The Lord will change you suddenly. The Lord will lift you up suddenly. Those of you that are fed up with life, that are saying, Oh, why, why me? Why me, Father Jehovah? Sickness does not reign in your kingdom. Those that have nothing to even eat, Father, give unto them. Provide for them because you are a way maker. You are the God that we trust and believe. Father, transform the world for yourself and yourself alone. In the name of Jesus, all those that are still doing evil to people, Father, touch them. Touch them. Let them have an encounter with you. Let them know that those lives they are tormenting belong to you. Let them know that they are persecuting you. Father, change them, O oh Lord. Father, change them, O oh Lord. All those that say over their dead body with their chain, they are not the creator of themselves, O oh Lord, King of glory. I pray you change them today. Change them, O oh Lord. All those destiny changers, Father in heaven, change them. All those evil hands resting upon people, Father, set your people free. In the name of Jesus, everlasting Redeemer. I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory. I worship you, Lord Almighty, because you are still in the business of deliverance. Deliver your people. Set the country free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, when you set that woman with the issue of blood free, she became free. When you, when you set those uh, two blind uh, uh, men free, they became free. When you set uh, uh, that blind man uh, it was it was set free, Father. Only just speak your word to them, touch them, O Lord. That power that left you and deposited on the woman with the issue of blood, Father in heaven, let that power leave you now and be deposited in the world and set your children free. Father, you only came for the sinners to repent. All those that are still wallowing in sin, set them free, O Lord. Father Jehovah, I call upon you as your servant. Father, hear my cry, O Lord, for your people. Help me to impact the world. Help me, O Lord, to change the world. In the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Father Jehovah, when you visit a situation, that situation will not remain the same. Father, when you visited that uh, the blind Batman, his situation changed. He got his side back. Father, I'm crying on behalf of the world. Father, set them free, deliver them. 
People are suffering. People are dying, oh Lord. It's not, it's not your will that any should, should suffer and be like that. Father, it's because of the wicked world. Father, remove wickedness from the world. In the name of Jesus, Father, set us free. Father, deliver us. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you. Father, I lift up your name. Father, I reverence you. I say thank you for your authority. Thank you because their situation will never be the same. Thank you, Jesus, because they, they, they have received your attention. Holy Spirit, I lift up your name. I honor you, Daddy. I say thank you, Lord. Help your children to be your friend, O oh Lord. When somebody is your friend, O oh Lord, it will not, evil will be far from such a one. Your, your presence will not depart from such a one. Holy Spirit, I appreciate you. I thank you. I don't know who this prayer is meant for. Father, as I pray this prayer, O oh Lord, let this prayer go around the world. Let it touch everybody. Everywhere your children are hurting, oh Lord, Father, touch them. Father, transform them. Father in heaven, everywhere your children are nailing you, Jesus, to the cross the second time, Father, change them. Change their heart, oh Lord. Father, those that are still wallowing in sin, Father, change them. Because prayer is the key. Help your children to pray. There are some people that don't even know how to pray, but they are being tormented. Holy Spirit, set them free, oh Lord. Set them free, O oh Lord. Give them the power. Give them the strength to be able to call upon you and you alone. All those deceivers out there, Father, let them have a change of heart, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, if everyone has a pure heart, this world will be a beautiful place to live in. Father, change the heart of men. The Bible says the heart of men is uh, desperately wicked. But by Jehovah, you are the only one that can, can help them to remove that wickedness. Let them, let them think of good. Let them know that whatever they do to order, they do it to you, God of heaven and air. Baba, you said it in the Bible. He said, whatever we do to our fellow human being, we have done it to you. My Father, my God, Father, set us free. Set us free. Let us have a pure heart, a heart of gold, a heart of Jesus, a heart, that, a heart of love. Whatever we do unto others, if it's done to us and we feel, we feel bad, help us not be able to, so that we will not do it to other people. That is how they are going to feel. Oh Lord, let the world change. Transform the world. Tra transform the world. Let there be love, oh Lord. Let there be love. If, they lo if we love ourselves, we will not harm our fellow human beings, oh Lord. Give us the spirit of love, oh Lord. Give us the spirit of love. Remove the spirit of hate from the world. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, God of heaven and earth, God of fire, Father, come into our life. Transform us, oh Lord. Transform us, oh Lord. Transform the world. Touch everyone, oh Lord. Touch our children, touch our husband, touch our wife, touch our brothers and sisters, touch us, O Lord, touch the whole world, touch everyone listening to the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus, let them know that this life is not permanent. Let them know that whatever they are doing, they will give account of it to you. Help us, O Lord. Help the world, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, give us the grace to know you. Give us the mercy, O Lord. Give us the power to come closer to you. The Bible says it's not only those that call Lord, Lord, that will enter the kingdom of God. Those, those that will enter the kingdom of God, they are those that do the will of God. Help the world to do your will. Help the pastors to do your will. Help all believers to do your will. Help all those that are not even believers to believe that there is no other way. In the name of Jesus, Father, help us. Father, I'm crying to you as your servant. Help the world, O oh Lord. Help the world, O oh Lord. God Almighty, you took time to, to create this world. This world will never be destroyed by Satan. In the name of Jesus, your people will not perish, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father Jehovah, help us, O oh Lord. Help us, O oh Lord. So that Jesus coming to die for us will, will, will be meaningful to all. It's not meaningful to some people they don't know. They are still acting anyhow, O oh Lord. Father, transform them. Father, transform them. Father, transform them. Help us, O oh Lord. Lord, help us to abide in you and you abide in us. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, I thank you. Jesus, the Lord, I thank you. I appreciate you, Lord Almighty. I give you all the praise. I give it up to you. I lift up your name above all other names. Thank you for your 
for the lives of people you are transforming already. Father in heaven, thank you because you will create time for people to listen to this message. Father Jehovah, and this message, not this prayer, not only listening to it, it will be a transformation to them. Even if anyone touch the screen, when they are listening, oh Lord Jehovah, you will visit them. In the name of Jesus, oh God, have an encounter with your people. Transform them. Let this place be a beautiful place for us to live. Father, help us. Father, help us. With your mercy, oh Lord. With your grace. Your, the Bible says the grace of God is sufficient for us. Oh Lord, let your grace be sufficient for us. Father, have mercy on us. Have mercy on our people listening to you now. Father, it is not your, your wish for anyone to perish. But for all to come to repentance, O oh Lord. Father Jehovah, let the world come to repentance. Father, have an encounter with, with people in the world, one after the other. Father, let, let, let them say that since they heard the, your voice speaking, that their situation has changed. They not give it up to Jesus. They will not wallow in sin anymore. Help the world to hate sin as Christ hates sin. In the name of Jesus, and even the things people are doing that they think is not a sin, Father, expose it to them, open their spiritual eyes to know that it's a sin, that they, it's time for a change. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray you meet everyone holy in the world. In the name of Jesus, all the bad, bad things they used to do, Father, cast it out of life. Let them do good things. Let them, let, let, them, let them help to transform the world. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, transform all those people doing evil to now start behaving like a, a, a Apostle Paul. Because Apostle Paul was so when he was transformed, he became Apostle Paul. Father, bring out a lot of Apostle Paul from the world. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you for listening to me, my brothers and sisters out there. May the Lord deliver every one of us. In the name of Jesus, let us pray the prayer of a sinner. Oh God, my Father. I am here, O oh Lord, to receive you with all my heart. I want to say bye bye to sin. Sin, I will, I will not do evil anymore. Pray that prayer and invite Jesus into your life. The Lord will visit you. He's a God that does not discriminate. Pray. It's not too late to change, my brothers and sisters. It might be too late to pray, but it's not too late to change. Change. Tomorrow may not be guaranteed. You may say, oh, let me do this, commit this last evil, and then tomorrow I give it all for Jesus. What if that tomorrow does not come? My brothers and sisters, it is now, today, as you are hearing the sound of my voice. Thank you. Have a blessed day. See you again. I am Pastor Igbe Florence Oduwari. God bless you all.